What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, it's your homie, Futuristic Mike, and I'm back with another Power Book 2 Ghost video if you're new. Now, today we're going to be talking about Rodolfo and Tommy. If you're a fan of power, if you love power, hit the like on this video. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're finding me, subscribe and turn on those post notifications so when I post videos on Power Book 2 Ghost, you get them. Now, Rodolfo has only been on power like one time. We only seen him once when Jason introduced him to Tommy. You know, I think it was in like episode seven or eight or something like that in season six of power. I don't remember the exact episode, but he was only in one episode so far. We want to know more about this guy. I'm sure we'll see him in power book four or whatever, you know, in Tommy spinoff. And what's funny is this is Fernando Sucre from Prison Break. If you guys have seen Prison Break, that's an amazing show. And I literally just got done watching that show maybe about a month or two ago. I rewatched it, but he's amazing as Fernando Sucre. And he's also on that show High Town. You know, his name is Frankie. He's locked up, he's in prison. And that's a really good show too. He's a drug lord in that show. So it's gonna be great to see him back on power It'll be good to see him as another drug lord because he does a phenomenal job in that role on Hightown. It's on Stars. if you guys didn't know, if you guys want to go check that show out. Now, Rodolfo, he might be Monet and Lorenzo's connect. What do you guys think? Do you guys think they'll put it in there for him to be Monet and Lorenzo's connect? Because we've all been wondering who the hell they get their drugs from. We know that Tariq gets his drugs from Monet and Lorenzo, but where the hell do they get their shit from? So maybe uh, Rodolfo is supplying Monet and Lorenzo. Maybe this is what brings Tommy back to New York. You know, maybe he'll end up working with Monet through Rodolfo. That'll be pretty interesting if they do it like that. I think that'll be dope. You know, Tommy could come back and be Tariq's connect, but I don't know if Tommy could get past everything that Tariq has done in the past. Do you think Tommy could actually forgive Tariq for everything he's done? That'll be interesting if Tommy actually would forgive Tariq. You know, Tariq has done a lot of things to Tommy. He stole from Tommy. He went into his warehouse and stole from his supply. You know, he stole a whole bunch of pills and took them to choke. And then he also shot and killed Tommy's best friend. So do you really think Tommy could forgive Tariq for everything he's done? I don't know. But I think this would be a great way for Tommy to enter Power Book 2 Ghost. This would be a great introduction if he would come back to New York because of Rodolfo or something like that. I think that'll be dope, man, because we've only ever seen this character one time. We want to see him more. We want to know more about him. I know we're going to have Tommy spin off and we're going to see more about Tommy and probably Rodolfo and other people too. But I want some Tommy Egan right now. We need to see something about Tommy Egan now. Like seriously, you know, Power Book 2 Ghost is the events taking place 48 hours after power. So we want to see something about Tommy too, man. Like give us some Tommy Egan and let us know what he's up to. Another thing that could be interesting is if Rodolfo came back to New York and broke Tasha out of jail for Tommy, you know, so Tommy could end Tasha. That'll be pretty interesting if they do something like that. But I think Tasha will die sooner or later. It's going to be at the end of this season or in next season. You know, she's going to die, bro. Somebody is going to die. Some major character has to go. That's just the show we're watching. Power always kills off the main characters. You know, eventually all the characters are probably going to die in the end. I don't know if I actually see any of these characters making it out of this life. I just don't know. And some people that Tariq is dealing with too, you know, Brayden, Lauren, Diana, maybe one of them ends up dead as well. Because like I said, this is power and nobody ever survives in this show. But I think this would be interesting if Tommy were to come back to New York because of Rodolfo or something and he ends up working for Monet or whatever and they all end up forming a relationship and then Tommy crosses paths with Tariq sooner or later. I think that'll be dope if they play it out like that. I don't know if it's necessarily gonna go down like that, but I think it would be a good idea for that to happen. I just can't wait to see what's gonna happen in episode six and then the rest of the season. It's gonna be so fire, man. I already know. I just have a feeling this season is gonna be so good. It's gonna end so great. 
and we're just gonna be wanting season two so bad after season one ends so i really really cannot wait man do you guys think Tommy will come back because of Rodolfo or Monet or somebody like that? Or do you think he'll come back for another reason? Comment everything down below in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts, theories, predictions, and everything else. Keep supporting your boy, and I'll be continuing to bring y'all Power Book 2 Ghost content in the future. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and smash that notification bell so you can never miss a video. Let me get out of here, y'all. It's your boy Futuristic Mike, and I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.